Game close. No. Hello. Good evening, Hermes. Good evening, Russo. Russo, hello. <laughs> Who's Russo? <laughs> hi, hi. Good evening. Hi, Hermes. Hello. Good evening. How's it going? Fine. <laughs> Great. Glad to hear that. We're about to start, guys. I'm just Reminding the others that we already started the class. Let's see. Okay. So, welcome to our third session today. Um, I wasn't for them. I'm sorry. Give me just one second. <laughs> Somebody's turning on the speaker. That's the attitude. Pregunta. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with a question as we usually do. Um, today we're going to talk about sequence adverbs, but can somebody tell me, uh, sequency adverbs, um, can somebody tell me what did we talk about yesterday? Where were we? Mm -hmm. Where were we? Can some can someone remind me where were we yesterday? Mm, sorry, it was about person person perfect. No. Yep, the last topic we talked about was present perfect. Very good. And what were we comparing the present perfect with? With simple past. Simple past. Why? How can we use the present perfect with the simple past? How can you compare it? In a situation in what we are answering, for example, uh, have you ever traveled to Paris? And the answer could be, yes, I have. Yes, I have traveled to Paris. I went there the last year. Mm -hmm. So you have so to answer? In, uh, simple past. With simple, With past. simple past. Excellent. Very good. That's mm -hmm. right, Marlon. Okay. Um, have you ever been to the um, Magico Gonzalez Stadium? Have you ever been to the Magico Gonzalez Stadium to watch a match, to watch a soccer game? Yes, I have been there for the 4th, 15th, September. For September 15th? September, September 15th, yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> Elaborate. I, I, okay, because, because in the past I was part 
of a musical band. So when I was a student, right? Mm -hmm. So one of our activities was went to the to to the um, independence uh, celebrations. Um, one of one of those was uh, go to the independence party. So it starts at it starts from from El Salvador University and ends in the Mexico Gonzalez Stadium. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what I remember. Okay, so you remember that it starts. Okay, yeah, you move to the present. Be careful, but that that was okay. It usually, you know, it usually starts at the University of El Salvador and then, no, 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 no. great job. Okay, let's see. One of our activities was to go. Okay, one oh, of our activities uh, yeah, was yeah. to go to the independence parades. Parades, repeat, Marlon, parades. Parade? In the stadium. Parade? In a stadium. In the stadium, inside the stadium. In the stadium, uh -huh. okay. It starts, okay, good, great job. Okay, uh, Ricardo, had you ever been, or oh, I'm sorry, have you ever been to a parade inside the stadium or any mm. football match, soccer match? Yes, I have. Uh, I, I was in the stadium, uh, the last time I, when I was, when I, <laughs> long, long time. Uh, long, long time ago, <laughs> I can still remember. Can still remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, a yeah, long, long time ago. It was long time uh, ago. I saw the, the team national. Of, national team? National team of uh, Guatemala national team versus uh, El Salvador national team. <gasps> wow! Time. Yeah. Never, okay. never, never. Uh, the national team of El Salvador won uh, won to national team of Guatemala. It's, they have never won. Never won. Never not, won. not until today. Not until today. They haven't. They, they haven't. haven't. Wow. Yeah. Is, okay. Okay. The last right. time. <laughs> what was the last time? Okay. <laughs> Never won a match. Okay. So you have Guatemala's national soccer team. That's where you qualify that soccer team, right? Guatemala's national soccer team versus El Salvador. Okay. They've okay. never won a match. They've never won a match against against Guatemala. Against Guatemala, yeah. Yeah. That's it. They've never won a match against Guatemala. Really? That's sad. Against. That is sad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's very sad. That's very sad. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay, that was... no, that's all, that's all. Great, that's it, that's it. Good that's job. It. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's move on. Let's continue. Somebody else, let me see. Can you make an open question, Ricardo? Try to make an open question with the present perfect. How come mm, we are... Open question. Uh, have you ever... Uh, uh, have you ever uh, seen the the Machu Picchu place in Peru? Have you ever seen the Machu Picchu ruins? Ruins. In, ruins. In, uh -huh. Ruins. In where is that? I'm sorry. In on, where is uh, Peru? Peru. I, Peru. I guess. I guess. I guess. Yeah, it I, is Peru. Have you ever seen the Machu Picchu ruins in Peru? Who? Hermes, Edwin, Stephanie, Erika, Abel, Herman? 
Ricardo, who wants you to answer your question? Uh, Hermes. No, I. I. <laughs> I, I Hermes. Don't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry, Ricardo. Say thank you, Hermes. Thank you. Thank you. No, I need to speak. <laughs> okay, Hermes, have you ever seen the um, the Machu Picchu ruins in in Peru? No, I, I never traveled to Peru. Okay. I don't, I don't see. I've never, look, I've never. I've never. I've never, I've, I've never seen. So you've never seen the scene, the Machu Picchu ruins? Yes, I've never seen the Machu Picchu ruins. Okay, but I heard, then you can give your opinion, right? But I heard that there, it's a great place, right? A very um, historical place. That sounds good. Ancient place. It's an ancient, an ancient place. That's what I heard. That's what I've heard. Good job. Okay. Hermes, can you make an open question using present perfect? Um, but I'm sorry, but I, I couldn't connect yesterday. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, you're lost. Don't worry. Uh, let me make an open question to Stephanie, maybe. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, teacher. Hi. Yeah, repeat me, please. Repeat for me, please. Yeah, let me repeat. Uh, let me make the question. Have you ever been caught? Um, hmm, this caught. Yeah. Have you ever been caught doing wrong? Look at the chat on Zoom. Have you ever been caught doing wrong? Have you ever been caught doing wrong when you were a kid? When you were just a kid? Have you ever been caught doing wrong? Like doing um, something wrong, like playing with the toothpaste, for example. Stephanie? You don't get the question? I think we lost her. Okay, uh, Edwin, can you hear us? Can you hear me, Erika? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin. Have you ever been caught doing wrong? Um. Repeat, please. I can hear you. Look I at the look at you. the look at the Zoom, the Zoom chat. Can hear you. Okay. So, have you ever been caught doing wrong? Alguna vez te atraparon haciendo algo mal, algo malo, perdón, algo malo. When you were a kid and you were little, you know, did your mom or your dad came to you? Oh, what are you doing? Uh, I, I do not always know it. I'm sorry, come again. Uh, no, I've never been caught. Or oh, I was never. Not, I never. Uh, caught me or me caught? They, they never caught me. No, they never uh, caught me. They never caught me. Okay. They never caught me. Okay. Nunca me atraparon. Uh, they never caught me. Okay. So moving on again, we're using present perfect. And then when we answer a question, we use the past simple. You have questions about that? 
Any questions? No? Okay. No. Good. No. Oh. So let's work on something. Question? Let's work on something together. Now we are 10 in the classroom. I'm going to split you, but first we're going to watch a short video to talk about cooking. Okay, recipes. That's our recipes. topic today. We have to talk about conjunctions, about how to use um, adverbs of, one second, connections, connectors basically, sequence adverbs, okay? So I'll play the video for you so we can check it out and then we will discuss about the structure and how it works, okay? Let's do it. Okay. you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, Put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes but you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. 
And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then toast the slices of bread. Then spread the mixture on the toast. Then put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that. So therefore, we use different words to explain And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end. So that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together next toast the slices of bread after that so they could be interchangeable there's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first you can use those three interchangeably and the last thing that i would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe and I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Okay, this is a very simple topic. It's not very complicated. So guess what we're doing today? What are we doing today? Guess what? Receipts. Yes, let's make, let's prepare something to eat, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use the same sequence adverbs that Jose was using in the video. I'll send you this little image here on how to cook something. And you're going to prepare your own recipe. If we don't finish today and you are not ready to present your recipe, we will do that tomorrow as part of your evaluations. Don't worry, but if you finish today, you can start, you know, like presenting your own recipe to the class. Okay, if you have an image that you would like to share, you can share the screen with the classroom once you are ready to present your recipe, okay? There you have the image. Now, talking about connectors, I wanted to point out that there are many connectors, a lot of connectors, right? But these are sequence connectors. What other sequence connectors do you know, guys? After. After? That's right part after. of it. Right after. Excellent. Second. Second, okay. What else? Sure you're not sharing your screen. I know, I know. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Before. So he said after, right after. Okay. Before. He said first. He said next. After that. Finally. Any other? Third. 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 Okay. Third. Mm-hmm. What about a few minutes later? A few minutes later. Okay. Moreover, in addition, furthermore, and so on. So there are a lot of sequence adverbs I'm sorry, a lot of sequence, um, yeah, sequence adverbs or a lot of connectors 
conjunctions, they receive many names, but they are very important, okay? So I'm gonna split you and you have to prepare a recipe. Do you have a question? Do you have any question? No. Not at all? No. Not at all. Okay, good. I'll be with you in a minute to check your progress. Please speak English. You're gonna be in trios. Woo! Okay, let's work together. Mm -hmm. Come on, teamwork, teamwork. Okay. Okay, a ver, creo que también está Abby en este grupo, creo. Yes, ya dije hello. <laughs> yes, I say. <laughs> hello. Okay. Hello, Abby. Okay. 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 Okay, first of all, you should agree on what you're going to cook, right? What are you cooking tonight? Uh, 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 uh. For example, a marichan. <laughs> No, oh, come on. That's muy fácil. No, no, no. That's no, no. too easy. Yeah, that's yeah. too easy. Another food. How do you say quesadilla in English? Uh, no, no, no. You say quesadilla. There's no quesadilla. That's, that sounds like cheesecake for an American. Yeah, for an American, that would be like cheesecake. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. No, quesadilla. Quesadilla. Yeah. Uh, it's normal. Is a... Is a okay. Proper noun, yes. Proper noun. It's a proper okay. noun. Proper nouns, you cannot translate them. Proposal. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, proposal. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay vamos a hacer proposals. Hot water. <laughs> Hot water. <laughs> Don't burn it. No la vayan a quemar, okay? Okay, so <laughs> what's the process? What is the process? How do you how do you prepare scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Pupusas. Okay, pupusas. Okay, good. Yeah, pupusas. pupusas. It's okay. 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 Fears the pay the the arena the fears. Wash the your hands. Prepare uh, arena with the Cheese. water. Look at the image. The take take a look at the image. image. Take a look at the image I sent you on the group. So yes, first uh -huh. prepare prepare the dough. Prepare the dough. Google it. How do you say arena uh, masa in English? Masa. Down. Dong. Do. 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 Mm -hmm. Do. Do. No, D O U H, I think. Do. Yeah. Yeah, do is masa. D O U G H. D O U G H. Do. It's okay. in Korean, say, mass. Uh, no, it's not incorrect, but a mass could refer to a mass of people. Mm. Okay. Okay. More than a do. Mm -hmm. hmm? Okay. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. I'll okay. be right back. I'll be back with you. Okay. Okay. 
Bueno, Phil. Chili. Pepper. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ingredients. Jalapeño, ¿cómo se pondrá? Sí, se, así lo veo yo en el front line. Jalapeño. Pepper. Pepper. Pepper, maybe pepper. Ingredients. Double P, P pepper. Pepper. So pepper. we need bread, sausage, onion, marinade, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, salt, pepper. What else? Pepper is actually, um, what do you call it? Uh, pimienta. Uh, but yeah, we but chili, want chili pepper. Uh -huh, chili. chili pepper. Like that? Chili pepper? Chili, yeah, not with an I, not Y at the end. So okay. Say C H I L L I. Uh -huh. Chili pepper. Okay. And picante. Mm -hmm. So that's all the ingredients, guys, or do you think we can add another one? The first step is uh -huh. first the step. Bread. Cut the bread. Take the bread. Take the bread. Keep, keep the bread. Or cut. What are you doing? Right. Chop, chop. Cut. Cut. Cut the bread. No, but hit calentar el pan. Oh, ah, heat. Hit, the, hit the bread. Yes, hit. hit. He's saying it right. I'm sorry. First, hit the bread. Hit the bread. The first step. Okay. So sorry, we're I have problems with my keyboards. Okay, the first. Sorry, that's our letter. Step. Mira, ahí unís el sonido, Marlon. The first step. First, the first step. step. The first step. The, the first, first step. step. First step. Mm -hmm. The first it step is, mm -hmm. is to cut, to, to hit, right? To hit the bread. To hit the bread. <laughs> to hit the bread. No, no, no. It's, it's the same sound, teacher. Hit and hit. Same hit, pronunciation, hit. yes. Same pronunciation, right? Yeah, to hit the bread. The first step is to hit the bread. Don't make the pause. The first step. What? Don't first? make. Don't make a stop. Don't say the first step. It's the first step. The first step. The, the first, first step. step. Uh huh. The first step is to hit the bread. Perfect. The first step is to hit the bread. The first step is to hit the bread. You got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep going, guys. Great job. Hit the bread until uh, Hermes, until uh, it looks. Uh, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see I'll five minutes. Until five minutes have passed. So, como sería? Until, o solamente until five minutes. Hasta que cinco minutos. Okay. Durante cinco minutos. Uh, no, muchos se nos va a quemar. Two minutes. Se nos va a quemar, ¿verdad? Sí, es hasta que se dore. Ajá, pero ¿cómo es esa palabra? Until Para que it, se dore. Until it's brown. Y, eh, avena, ¿verdad? Sí, es, de avena con panela. Ok. Spill it flour es harina. Uh -huh. um, ¿Harina qué? Ok, so you say flour. Flour. Yeah, no just, es, just like the flowers, flour. the same thing, flour. flour. Like the like a like a flower, same sound. <laughs> flu, e flu. What's the, mean flu? The writing is different. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. The the sound is the, is similar or the same. They both have a similar sound. Yes. Okay, flower okay. and flower. Flower. A spirit. A spill. What means spill? What okay. do you mean, just, 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 hmm. how do you spell that? that? Uh, chemical, yes, it's a... chemical, just, what oh, do you, uh, yeah, 
are you, what are you what cooking you bread are you cooking bread or quesadillas or what are you cooking oh okay what is it what are you cooking galletas oh cookies, cookies. okay cookies. Cookies. Yeah, yeah, just or i think you're trying to say levadura right Levadura. Ah, chemical. Oh, chemical. Levadura. Chemical yes. Chemical yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Chemical yes. Yes. Levadura. Okay. Okay. You say yes. You don't. Yes. Yeah. You don't. Hold on. Yes. You don't pronounce yes. the the yes. y the y as a j. You say yes. 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 Okay, okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Chemical yes. Chemical yes. Yes. Okay. Chemical yes. Okay. Chemical yes. Okay. 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 What is first? Uh, what is... Pues solo he hecho una vez, pero más o menos es We are going to make these cookies with oatmeal, um, which uh, promoted, prom, promotes, promotes, sí, creo que sí es. Um, se los escribo. Oatmeal, yeah. Try to write it on the on the list. Why don't you share share a word document? So one of you, mm -hmm. just one of you. Try to share a word document, so you can start writing uh, the ingredients one by one. The ingredients. Yeah. Compartan un documento de Word para que vayan escribiendo el proceso y los demás lo vayan viendo y siguiendo. So you can work okay. in team. Okay. 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 So you can work together, okay? Good, good. Keep going. Okay. Vamos con el next. Sería este, moldearlas y tirarlas a la plancha. Mold them. Mm -hmm. Mold them with your hands and then throw them into the. How do you say plancha in English? The iron? No. There's got to be another word for that. The griddle. Yeah, you say the griddle. Griddle. Plancha. Griddle. Griddle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mold and okay, mold. so mold the dough, the corn mm -hmm. dough. Are you doing? Are you making pupusas? Yes. Like say mold the corn dough. Yes. And throw it onto the mold. griddle. There you go. Mold the corn dough. And throw it into, throw it onto the griddle. Griddle. It could be rice, rice dough or corn dough. What do you prefer, rice dough or corn dough? Rice dough. Yeah, it's better, rice dough. Uh -huh. yes. After that, uh, after that, flip, flip the pupusa. Por ejemplo, en el caso, después de eso, como la tiramos ahí en el griddle, la vamos a... a Le vamos a dar vuelta, voltear la pupusa de ambos lados para que se cosa bien o algo así. Ok, turn it, turn it, both turn, sides, turn you it. know, turn it upside down, 
every now and then. <laughs> That's the way I will say it. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Turn it okay. upside down every now and then to cook both sides. Turn it upside down every now and then to cook it, to cook both sides. So it's like you turn it upside down, right? La vuelta es boca arriba o boca abajo. De revés, upside down. Every now and then. Every now and then, what do you understand by that? Every now and then. Every now and then. En ambos lados? No. Both oh. sides, both sides is ambos lados. That's right. Ah, upside. Uh -huh. De vez en cuando. Every now and then is de vez en de cuando. De vez en cuando. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. okay. Keep going. Oh, so no, so eh? you're, you already added the, uh, how did you say chicharrón? Did you find a word for chicharrón? Ah. Sí, lo busqué, pero no, no lo encontré. Siempre decía chicharro. You can say pork, pork oh. or bacon. Be ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, keep going. Thanks, teacher. Now, Loroco doesn't have a, Loroco doesn't have a translation. The proper nouns, you cannot translate proper nouns into English, okay? Okay. Good job, okay. good job. Keep going. Okay. Anotó, ¿verdad, Carlos? Complicado. Ajá, realmente yo siento que estamos bien. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bien. No bien right. convencida, pero... <laughs> <laughs> no, es que están hablando en español y ya siento que estamos bien. <laughs> English. I'm very good. I'm very good. Ay, justo cuando yes. entró, dejamos de hablar en inglés. Mala suerte. Why, why will it be that I don't believe you? Why will it be that I don't believe you? Did you practice? Yes, I, I yes. repass the steps. Okay, let's see. What do you have? Solo, solo quisiera que me dijera cómo se pronuncia sa, salsa. Sa, sé que sé cómo se escribe, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Sos. Sos. ¿Vos? Sos. <risa> yeah. You add the sauce. You add sauce. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Sauce. No. Tomato sauce. Ah, Tomato sauce. sauce. Tomato That's it. Sauce. Okay. You got it. Very good. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Carmen. Pre 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 prepare. Okay. Prepare. 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 Okay. Prepare. Prepare. Hmm. Prepare though. Prepare. So. Okay, I think you're ready. Okay. We're, we're not going to do it today. We're going to do this tomorrow. You're going to um, prepare your recipe in front of the class. Okay, uh -huh. Carmen, get ready with the... Uh -huh. Yo si puedo. Yeah, great. Okay, let's go back to the main group. So tomorrow it's going to be like Friday for us hearing you talking about food. We're just waiting 20 seconds for the rest of your classmates. 
cooking, it sounds easy, right? But honestly, even in advanced levels, it could be a very difficult task. I will explain you right now why. Okay, let's play something really quick. We only have 14 minutes, so I need someone. Where where is where's Marlon? He le did he live? Oh, there he is. Okay, Marlon. Rebecca is not with us today. Okay. Good. I need an example. Um, so I will make you a question, a very simple question. How do you prepare scrambled eggs? How do you prepare scrambled eggs? How do you prepare scrambled eggs? The, the, first part, the, first, the first step is put the eggs in hot water. Hot water? No. <laughs> mm, no. Okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> the first step is to choose. Go ahead, Erica. I'm sorry. No, no. Erica, try, try, try. <laughs> Ladies first. Okay. The first is put the eggs in the the recipe and the recipient you and then uh, prepare. Huh? Um, okay. Then, uh -huh. then I uh, cut the vegetable mm -hmm. next you combine the ingredients the egg in the vegetable after that uh, 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 it, <laughs> it, uh, hit the the Hit. The pan. You hit, you hit, the, hit the pan. Oil. Uh -huh. Okay. And finally, mm -hmm. uh, uh, agrega, no, uh, add the ingredients in the in the Excellent. Mm -hmm. Nice try. Okay. One applause, please. <laughs> Erika, close. I love you to keep trying. That's that's very important. You have to try all the time. I tell you many times, keep trying, trying, and trying. Okay. I was telling you that cooking for an advanced level may sound difficult. It may sound difficult, but it's not that difficult, okay? Let's take a look at something here really quick. So you have difficulties still at this level with the following words. So you say first, listen. First. 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 So you first. say first. 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 Okay, let's do something really quick. We only have Four 10 first. minutes. Um, let me go one by one. Hermes, Hermes, just Hermes first. Can hear you. Okay, chicos, necesito que enciendan su micrófono solo por unos minutos. Hermes first. First. Good. Marlon? First. Ricardo? First. Mm -hmm. Erika? Okay, better. Thank you. Uh, Edwin. First. Good. Victor. Uh, the, the, the first. The first. There you go. First. 
First. Later. Abel. First. Mm, ok, poné la S antes de la T. First. First. There you go, first. Very good. First. Mm -hmm. Mercy. First. Better, first. Ok, María Luisa. First. Very good. Ok, Stephanie, vamos on. First. German. First. Ok, good. Carlos. Yes. Is first. first. Ok, Abigail said first. Luis Oliva. First. Uh, tiene que sonar la T al final. First. First. There you First. go. Okay, so really quick, guys, listen and please watch the video later. Okay, you have first, you have caught, caught, caught. vegetables, vegetables. Okay, the stress is in this syllable. The stress is in this syllable, vegetables. Si no se los había dicho, en inglés no existe la tilde, existe el estrés de la sílaba y solo una sílaba puede estar acentuada. Es decir, um, su, solo en una sílaba cae el estrés de la palabra. Son pocas las palabras que tienen dos eh, o más estrés. Okay, so vegetables. Uh, then you have ingre oye, ingredients. Ingredients. And then you have prepare. 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 Then yeah. you have do. Yeah. No. Do. 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 Prepare do. do. Prepare. Okay. Do. So how do you how do you prepare scrambled eggs? Scrambled. Okay. To prepare scrambled eggs, first I wash my hands. Then I go to to the fridge, I open the fridge, I grab some vegetables. Mm, sometimes I like to add tomato. I like to add ham. I like to add um, peanuts mm -hmm. actually to my scrambled eggs. Oh. Okay, I like to add peanuts to my scrambled eggs. Uh, and I love to cook my scrambled eggs with butter. Butter. I don't like them with oil. I could look for some bacon. I could use some bacon on my recipe. And some garlic sometimes. Okay. But then, um, once I have the eggs and all these ingredients, I go to the kitchen. I chop all of the vegetables together, including the green pepper as well. Okay, it's something that I like to do. And then I turn on the stove. Okay. And I can also say I light up the store stuff. Okay, and then I put the skillet onto the fire, onto the flame, okay, onto the flame. On me, the flame is good, okay, and then I throw in, I throw in the eggs, oh, hold on. Before I throw in the eggs, I crack the shell. Okay. I crack the shell of the eggs, of course, and I throw in the eggs. Then I start adding, I start adding the vegetables, the, the ham, you know, the bacon, and I scramble or I mix. Once, listen, once cooked, I just put it on a dish and 
Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy it. That's it. So it sounds easy, right? To cook sounds easy. And look at this example. You have scrambled eggs. Look at all the vocabulary that you can get from a single recipe. The process, right? Okay. That's what I expect. That's what I expect from you tomorrow. Look for words. Um, someone was cooking um, or preparing pupusas. <laughs> okay. How do you say pupusas in English? Pupusas. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't pupusas. have a way. There's no way to translate pupusas. How do you translate cloroco to English? Cloroco? <laughs> Yeah. Crazy thing? A crazy thing? No. Okay. Proper nouns. You cannot translate proper nouns. Okay. Never translate proper nouns. It's not okay. Even for treats. What? Yuca frita. Yuca frita, right? Actually, there is a way to say yuca in English. You can remember it. Let me look for it really quick. Um, empanadas. <laughs> empanadas? Oh. I think those are filled. Look. Fried yuca. yuca. So they yuca. added they add another C to yuca. Another C, yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a way to say small cake or fulfilled cake. Fulfilled cake. Pasteles rellenos, fulfilled cake. Okay, so make sure you study, guys, uh, as a team and prepare for tomorrow so you can go one by one, team by team, showing your presentation. You will be able to take control of the class, of the screen. So you, if you want to prepare a presentation, that will be okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. So. Do you have any questions? No, no. Bien, nos queda un minuto. Eh, por favor, Richard, no se le decía. Yes, uh, Victor. The, the, the word recipe, recipe, recipe Good. is recipe. a, is, is, um, utility for, for medicine, medicine recipe. Oh, if the word recipe is. Recipe, but I'm sorry. Is, that's okay. It's, it's used in medicine. Yeah, here's your recipe. Yeah, you can say that. But in, in no, 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 wait, wait, wait. In medications, you use, um, here's your, hold on. Prescription. Prescription, thank you. Here's your, here's your prescription. When you, when they prescribe, prescribed your medicine, it's a prescription. Uh, it's not a recipe. Okay. Recipe, recipe, no, prescription. Good question, perfect question, Victor. Thank you. Okay, les recuerdo, señores, plataforma. Hay un video en esta unidad. No sé si ya lo vieron. Um, quickly go to it. Hay un video en esta unidad, eh, justamente, que habla sobre, pero es parte de su knowledge check. Que no era de sección. Sorry. The number of the section is section four. We are on section four. Okay, section. no, forget it. There's an audio. Um, so you have uh, to complete 4.2 and 4.5 before tomorrow midnight. Okay, just don't leave things for later. Try to do this before tomorrow midnight. So we're okay. 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 Well, guys, I'll see you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Okay. Okay. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone.